exact differential equation is the condition for solving the problem. Do n by do y equal to do n by two x. If this condition is okay, then the then m t x plus n t y equal to zero is an exact differential equation. Suppose do n by do y not equal to do n by two x. Observe this one. While solving the problem, the equation already it is in the form of m t x plus n t y equal to zero. But while checking the condition, do n by do y not equal to do n by two x. Then that is not an exact differential equation. If it is not an exact differential equation, what I will do? You, you have to convert that non-exact differential equation into exact differential equation by multiplying with the suitable factor to the given equation on both sides. Once again, means equations reduce to into exact. Equations, exact differential equations, non-exact differential equations, reducible into the exact differential equation means two m by two y not equal to two m by two x. Then m dx plus m dy equal to zero is not an exact differential equation. Then we have to use one integrating factor. How how should I consider that uh, integrating factor? Now the topic is. Equations reducible into exact. Suppose m t x plus n t y equal to zero is not an exact differential equation. Then it can be made exact by multiplying with the suitable function u of x comma y not equal to zero. I u of x comma y is called an integrating factor. Means what I will do? I have to Multiply with u of x comma y to the given differential equation. This is the suitable factor to make non-exact to exact. Means we are converting non-exact differential equation to exact differential equation. Now this is nothing but this u of x comma y is called integrating factor. Then integrating factors are different types. Now how to calculate the integrating factors? We have five methods. We have five methods to calculation of integrating factor. The first one, integrating factor, the third one. Suppose any of m dx plus n dy equal to zero is not an exact differential equation. If it is not an exact differential equation, then we will go for the integrating factors. One by m x plus n y is an integrating factor where m x plus n y is not equal to zero. This is another but first integrating factor. Then should I apply this one? Means suppose m t x plus n t y equal to zero. It is in the form of homogeneous differential equation. Suppose that is homogeneous differential equation. Then we can apply for this integrating factor. The integrating factor is one by m x plus n y and m x plus n y is one equal to zero. That is our answer. Now homogeneous differential equation means already. We have solved almost this differential equation in integral, rate, but once again, d y by d x equal to f of x comma y. This f of x comma y is a homogeneous function. Then, that is d y by d x equal to f of x comma y is a homogeneous differential equation. Then, what is that? How should I say this f of x comma y is a homogeneous function? Means f of k x comma k y equals to f of x comma y, then f of x comma y is homogeneous function. Now, like this, we will consider the integral of first integrating factor. Integrate method two. Integrating factor. If the given differential equation em dx plus en dy equal to zero is not an exact differential equation, we need to calculate integrating factor. If that Differential equation in the form of y into f of x comma y dx plus x into g of x comma y dy equal to zero. Then one by m x minus n y is an integrating factor where m x minus n y is not equal to zero. Once again, how to calculate the integrating factor? By using method two, 
points we can apply we can go directly for method to integrating factor if the differential equation m dx plus n dy equal to 0 this differential equation is in the form of y into f of x comma y dx means f, m should be in this form plus x into g of x comma y dy equal to 0 then 1 by mx minus ny is an integrating factor where mx minus ny is an is not zero means if the differential equation in that form then if it is non exact differential equation then you multiply with 1 by mx minus n y then automatically it becomes in the form of exact differential equation and you solve the differential equation by exact method this is method 2 method 3 integrating factor Suppose m dx plus n dy equal to 0 is non exact differential equation. If there exists continuous differentiable single variable function f of x such that rho m by 2y minus rho n by 2x divided by n equals to f of x, then e power integral f of x dx is an integrating factor. Once again, the first one is, if you want to apply first method, the equation must be in the form of homogeneous differential equation. The second one is, if the differential equation in the form of y into f of x comma y dx plus x into g of x comma y dy equal to 0, then we can apply 1 by mx minus n y. Now, but 3 and 4 are little bit different. If both are the differential equation is not uh, suitable for method 1 and method 2, then we can go for the method 3. Then, how should I choose this method 3? Anyhow, we have calculated dou m by dou y and dou m by dou x. Both are not equal to 0 means non-exact differential equation. You calculate immediately dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x then we will get some quantity you should divide that quantity by n already n is a function of x and in terms of x and y then if you are getting in terms of x means you treat that as f of x then e power integral f of x dx is an integrating factor once again i will tell this total formula if there exist continuous a differentiable single variable function f of x such that dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divided by n equals to f of x then e power integral f of x dx is an integrating factor this is nothing but method 3 integrating factor method 4 integrating factor. Method for integrating factor, the same thing. Again, the first method is not applicable. Second method is not applicable. Third method is also not applicable. Then we can go for the fourth method. The fourth method is already the same thing. Dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x already we have calculated that quantity. If you are dividing by n, then that is the third method. If you are getting in terms of x. When you are dividing by n, if you are not getting in terms of x, then go for the fourth method. Means the fourth method is, if there exist continuous differentiable single variable function g of y such that dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divided by minus m. Observe this one. This is minus m equals to g of y then e power integral g of y dy is an integrating factor once again formula dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divided by minus m anyhow the method 3 and method 4 to observe these two methods in both the methods we are calculating dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x if you are dividing by n if you are getting in terms of x purely in terms of x then method 3 is applicable 
Suppose if you are not getting purely in terms of x, then immediately you have to divide by minus f. Then if it is purely in terms of y, then e power integral g of y dy is the integrating factor. Then you multiply this factor to the given differential equation m dx plus n dy equal to 0. Then automatically it becomes in the form of exact differential equation. You can solve by exact method, exact differential equation method. Already I explained exact differential equation method. Once again, these four methods, the first oral, orally, the m dx plus n dy equal to 0 is non-exact differential equation. Means so, dou m by dou y not equal to dou n by dou x. This condition is right. Then we can go for the integrating factors. For calculating integrating factors, we have, just now we have observed four methods. These four methods are important m dx plus n dy equal to 0 if it is homogeneous differential equation 1 by mx plus n y is an integrating factor. This is the first method. If it is not, not homogeneous differential equation then observe the equation very carefully. Observe the differential equation very carefully. If it is in the form of y into f of x comma y dx plus x into g of x comma y dy equal to 0 then 1 by mx minus n y is an integrating factor where mx minus n y is a not equal to 0. Third one. Third and fourth are both are same. Dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x if you are dividing by n, n is a function of x and y. If you are getting in terms of purely in terms of x, then the you treat that x uh, function f of x e power integral f of x dx is an integrating factor. Another one. So, suppose if you are not getting in terms of x, dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divided by minus m, if it is purely in terms of y, then e power integral g of y dy is an integrating factor. This is nothing but, like this we can calculate four integrating factors. Now, one more method is there, that is inspection method. For that inspection method, we will calculate some different formulas we will use.